Obsidian is a fantastic note-taking app with some powerful features. It's super customizable thanks to all the different options it gives you. But with all these awesome goodies, some features can be easy to miss. In this video, we'll explore seven hidden yet useful features that will help you get even more out of this amazing note-taking app. Have you ever wanted to include a backlink in the middle of a sentence, but the note title just didn't seem to fit? I used to think I needed to rename my note titles to fix this, but it turns out that's not the case. Simply add a pipe character at the end of the note title, then input your preferred link text afterward. This makes it possible to reference your notes in whatever way you need to fit the context, and your note titles can remain intact. Are you working on a project with various types of documents other than markdown files? Can you still create links to those documents, even though Obsidian doesn't recognize them as notes? This is a question one of my awesome viewers asked me about. They use regular Obsidian notes for research and rough drafts, but then write the final versions of their work in Word documents. They wanted to be able to link to the final versions from their rough notes, and lucky for them, Obsidian does in fact let you link to more than just other markdown notes. First, activate Detect All File Extensions under Settings and Files and Links. Then you use double brackets to search for the file just like you would a regular note. When you click on the link, the file will open in the default app for that file type. Don't like the extension showing? Use backlink renaming like we saw earlier to hide it. Obsidian does this with Canvas files by default. Are you managing projects in another app and need quick access to your Obsidian notes? Right-click the tab for the note, and then select Copy Obsidian URL. This creates a link that you can paste into your task manager or any other app, giving you one-click access to your relevant notes. I've created several templates with pre-assigned tags and backlinks and saved them all inside a designated templates folder. They're a convenient way to reuse common note formats but can clutter things up when they appear in your search results, or in the graph view. Thankfully, Obsidian has a setting to deal with this very situation. Head back into Settings, Files and Links, and scroll down to Excluded Files. Here you can hide specific folders and files from search and graph results, keeping your view focused. Templates will still show up in the quick switcher, just near the bottom, for easy access when you need them. Don't like jumping between tabs when working on multiple notes? Click the downward arrow in the top right corner and choose Stack Tabs. This puts your open notes side by side for a more efficient workflow. No more tab switching, just smooth scrolling between all your open notes. It's no secret that YouTube has some amazing content, and there may be even some things that you want to take notes on. Instead of having to go into the YouTube app every time you want to reference a video, you can embed them directly into your notes. Just copy the video URL, then in your note, type exclamation mark, open and close brackets, open and close parentheses, and put the URL in the parentheses. The video will then appear right within your notes. This syntax might be a little tricky to remember, so consider creating a template so you can insert it whenever you need to. Or put it inside of a markdown cheat sheet with other markdown syntax that you want to remember. You can embed YouTube videos in Canvas files as well. Just right-click in an empty part of the canvas, then select the Add Web Page option, paste the video URL, click Save, and you now have your video as a card that you can use the same way you would any other card. This works with any web page, not just YouTube videos, so you can include articles or documentation that you need to reference later as well. Obsidian isn't just for notes. You can manage your tasks in here too. Simply type a dash, followed by a space, an open bracket, another space, a close bracket, and another space to create a checkbox. You can build checklists directly within your project notes using these checkboxes. Want to take it even further? Community plugins like Tasks or DataView let you write queries to aggregate these tasks based on specific criteria. They can find them from anywhere in your vault and put them all into one place. We'll explore these plugins in a future video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Have you discovered any hidden gems in Obsidian that weren't on this list? Share them in the comments below. And if you're new to Obsidian, check out my Obsidian for Beginners playlist for more helpful tips. Thanks for watching.